Hello there everyone, thank you for joining me for this video. Today I'll talk about three skills to nurture as a tarot reader. So this is especially true for beginners if you don't know where to start or what skills to learn and nurture in the beginning that applies for you, but it really applies to anyone practicing tarot. Uh, so those are just three tips, uh, three skills, but I'm sure you can find many others, especially if you're a tarot professional. So if you're new here, I'm Mary Iris Jane. I am a tarot reader, tarot teacher, and an artist, and it is a pleasure to welcome you here. So in this video, we'll go over uh, three different skills. So the first one is um, the traditional tarot knowledge. Then we have intuition development. And the third skill that we're going to go over is about how to interpret artwork, um, which is a very... Uh, it comes in handy when reading a tarot card, right? Because every tarot card is an artwork. So stay tuned until the end of this video if you want a little bonus to help you with one of those skills. So let's dive right in. So the first skill that you really want to learn, nurture and practice in your tarot journey is to learn the traditional tarot knowledge. And what I mean by that is to learn the system, to learn its working, to learn its structure, right? And so that is the more logical side, the more uh, left brain side of the equation of tarot reading. And so this includes learning systems like the Rider-Waite-Smith, which is really popular. Uh, we also have the Tut tarot system. We have, you know, systems that include Kabbalah, astrology, numerology, you know, there's also the Marseille that could interest you. Um, so there's many different systems and so choosing one that you're really interested in diving into and to have the integrity of that knowledge will really help you to um, to have that foundational knowledge, right? So to be able to go back to the past and to see what are the traditions with tarot in the past, what are um, the different set of uh, thinking and meanings that was applied to the cards. So one thing to consider when we talk about studying the tarot and knowledge uh, is I really invite you to learn this um, in your own way, at your own pace, right? This isn't about just memorizing the card meanings and definitions. It's really about learning the structure of tarot. And once you understand the structure of tarot, it is easier to find new connections uh, organically to your own relationship with the cards rather than just uh, memorizing the cards, right? Like this isn't an exam that you're studying for, this is about your relationship with the cards that you are strengthening to study. So it is a skill that is ever expanding, right? Like even if you I learn tarot and you know the basics, there is always more to learn, right? Because you can learn about astrology and apply it to tarot, you can learn about numerology and apply it to tarot, about Kabbalah, you can learn about the history of tarot too. And so there is many, many different directions you can take in your traditional study of the systems. And so I invite you to just pick one system that you're really interested in to and to follow up in that direction and to fully study it uh, with integrity. So the second skill to nurture when working with tarot and doing tarot readings is to turn on your intuition. And so this means that you are learning the skill of attuning yourself to energies 
and this will help you complement your knowledge of tarot. It will help you complement your um, your tarot practice, right? Whether that is a personal tarot practice um, where you dive into the cards for your own self or whether that is for a friend or maybe you are a tarot professional. Uh, intuition is the right brain side of this equation, right? And so it helps you to make uh, creative links between the cards and with yourself or the person you're reading for at whatever level you are at right now. When it comes to intuition development, um, you know, some tarot readers will rely more on their intuition than on their knowledge. And so there is a balance, right? And only you can know um, how much you want to develop your intuition when diving into tarot. But one thing that is really helpful is to at least be able to um, ask a question and set intention, a little bit like a ritual, right? So to uh, be able to connect with spirit and to start that conversation with the cards. Uh, it doesn't mean that you need to be a psychic or clairvoyant to uh, start reading tarot, but it just means that you uh, enable yourself to open and receive to any messages that want to come true uh, while developing your intuition. And something also that is really great about learning uh, to develop your uh, psychic abilities is that you are able also to protect your energies and reading, that you're able to ground and anchor your reading uh, while doing it. It also means that you're truly connecting to your client in front of you, that you are uh, reading the energy right. So different types of intuitions that you could explore our clairvoyance, which means the ability to uh, see visions or see images and receive true sight uh, information. Then we have clairsentience, which is the ability to feel in your body uh, this information from spirit or from your client. Then we also have claircognizance. So claircognizance is when you receive new ideas and inspiration from spirit, uh, new thoughts that feel as your own thoughts in a way. Then we also have clear audience, which is to hear spirit and to um, hear their own specific uh, messages or um, insights. We also have clear gustins, I think it's called. So. It's uh, the one that's connected to taste and connected to smell. So it means that you can smell or taste uh, different energies. And that is a way that you can discern what's going on in a certain situation. And so as you can imagine, there is many different types of intuition. And I invite you to uh, learn more for yourself. You know, maybe buy a book about intuition development. Uh, personally, I really enjoy uh, the teachings of Gigi Young. I think um, she she has a YouTube channel and her teachings are really beautiful and she brings everything back to the heart and how to uh, really go into intuition development, not just for the sake of like grasping information, but really understanding it. Uh, with discernment and with heart and that is something I would recommend you to check out. I think she has a few courses and I've done one of them which was really great. So the third skill that you want to develop as a tarot reader is the skill of artwork interpretation. And so most often, you know, this is something that can easily be brushed over to the side, especially if you're a beginner, right? You might buy a book uh, with all the definitions of the cards and it, you can even Google it, right? So there is not a big... Uh, um, push for us as beginners, right, to have our own relationship with the cards, especially if we don't have the right 
tools to learn tarot and so I really invite you to nurture your own relationship with the cards and so this skill is very important and my own experience to develop especially if you're just learning to read tarot it's gonna help you to go uh, beyond the structure beyond the definitions and to really understand the cards um, from their symbols and from the imagery and the colors that the artist is using um, and their depiction of a tarot card. And so I have a background personally of studying visual arts and when I began to study tarot I found that my ability to uh, analyze and interpret an artwork really helped me when it came to learning tarot because I was able to read the image and so when you are developing your skill of artwork interpretation you are really developing and strengthening your ability to connect to any image to any symbol and to bridge the gap between the image and the meaning for yourself it's no longer just looking at the, an image and googling the meaning of it and uh, trying to outsource your knowledge. It's really a way for you to take back this power into your own hands, to read the image and to understand it within your own means, within your own uh, capacity to, uh, to interpret. And so as you can say, I'm really passionate about uh, helping you to really own into this third skill of artwork interpretation. I think it is really important, really fascinating um, because, you know, you don't just want to regurgitate this traditional tarot knowledge. You want to bring in your own flavor, your own relationship to the cards that is unique to you and you want to bring in your own connection to spirit, which is really important when developing this relationship with the cards. And so if you're interested in learning more about this third skill of artwork interpretation, I invite you to uh, check out uh, and the links below. I will have a link to five tips from an artist to read tarot and it will invite you to sign into my newsletter and end the first uh, email I'm gonna send you right after you sign up is gonna be a 30 minutes uh, mini class where I teach you some very basic skills to help you uh, learn the structure that I use when I interpret tarot cards or artworks or even dreams sometimes. So it, it's a very basic structure and that you can adapt to your own needs and I invite you to check it out. It's really going to help you, I'm sure of it. So thank you so much for joining me today for this video. I'd love to know in the comments below what is a one extra skill that you think is important uh, to entertain and nurture when reading tarot. I would love to know your insights and your thoughts about this and like this video if you enjoyed and I invite you to subscribe if you like uh, what I'm sharing here and I publish new videos every week every Friday. And one last thing before I go is there's going to be some links and suggestions of books and resources you can dive into and the description box for each of those skills to help you uh, start developing them and start nurturing them. So I hope it helps. So with that said, I'll see you next week. Bye.